Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. Uh, this is the channel where we try to find the perfect motorhome for you. Um, first of all I just want to say a massive thank you to all the people who've subscribed, liked and commented on the channel and also the videos. Uh, I've now hit a thousand subscribers which is pretty good going. We've only been going for a couple of months so let's hope we can get a few more subscribers and get a lot more content out there. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating a lovely van. Uh, this one's made in Bristol by a company called Bailey. Uh, this one is actually an Adamo 694. Now the 69 stands for 6.9 meters, so that's the length of the vehicle, and the four stands for four berth. Now this is a four berth motorhome with four traveling seat belts, and it's got an amazing electric drop down bed, uh, which I will show you later on in the video. Uh, first of all though, let's have a look around the outside, see what we've got there, and then we'll come inside and I'll show you all the specifications in here, and of course show you that amazing electric drop down bed. So starting off on the front, obviously this one comes on a Ford Transit chassis. Now it's uh, an obviously Ford Transit, they've been going for a long, long time. They're known for their reliability and often used with motorhomes. This is a lovely van. Uh, it's got daytime running lights, 16 inch alloys, and it comes in this lovely silver color in the cab there, which swoops along into the habitation with those graphics. Um, this is where you plug into your electricity. So if you're on a campsite or you're at home and you want to charge the vehicle, that's where you plug in there. You've got nice windows going all the way around the vehicle, but this one's just set in the living room. And then just next to that, you've got the habitation door. Uh, we will go inside in a second, just once we've been around the outside. Um, and just moving back from that habitation door, you can see those two grills there, one up on the top and one below. And this means that this van has got a big fridge freezer in it. Now you can fill up the water here. So you've got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank and it comes with a whale pump to suck water into that. Now it's got a 100 litres fresh water tank and a 100 litres waste. Just next to that, that's the toilet cassette and then we've got this huge garage. Now it's around 120 centimetres in height, so let's just have a quick look inside. Inside here you've got plenty of space to keep electric bikes, blow up boats, canoes, barbecues, whatever you might want. Just beneath there, you've got a three pin plug and also a 12 volt socket. So you can plug things in in here and obviously have a 12 volt point going as well. Lots of tie down points in here. So you can obviously tie your bikes down or whatever you might have in the back. And there's also draining points in the bottom. So if there is wet gear in here, then it is gonna drain out underneath. Uh, but it's a lovely size garage, I have to say. Moving around the back, as you can see there, you've got these bike rack rails. So what this means is you can quite easily connect a bike rack to this, no problem at all. And then just above, obviously you've got the Bailey Adamo sign and in between those two, you have got a reversing camera and there is an LCD screen inside uh, where you can view what's going on behind you. Just on the other side, we've got another entrance to the garage and this one is slightly higher. Uh, I believe this is around 160 or 170 centimeters. Um, and obviously you can hang your wet gear in there. You've got a nice rail just on the top to hang any clothes or any wet suits or any wet stuff you've got. And of course, again, you can obviously drain all this out through the bottom. So it's not gonna get really wet in here. And just to the right there, that's actually a heat vent. So you can keep that area nice and warm. Moving around again, more windows on this side. So it's really light and airy inside, which I will show you when we go in. And this is where you store the gas. So you can actually keep two 11 kilogram gas bottles in there. So plenty of gas. Um, but let's just have a quick walk around of this van just to show you uh, how it looks. So going into the vehicle, as you can see there, actually, it's very low down. So it doesn't need an extra step. But as we open up the habitation door, just on the left there, very conveniently placed actually, uh, we've got an umbrella stand. So really nice for this British weather. As you go in the door, you'll notice that you can, let me just see if I can do this, pull this fly screen ac across. So if you've got mosquitoes or flies outside, then of course that's gonna protect you from them, uh, which is often what happens when we go into places like Scotland where it's very famous for midges and things like that. <laughs> um, just to the right hand side, we've got the control panel. Uh, really easy to use, lights on and off. You can turn your pump on and off here. You can see your battery levels and things like that. Just above that, 
light switches, of course, to turn the lights on and off. And then in here, we've got two USB ports so you can charge your mobile phones up and things like that. Just above that, we've got a really cool, actually, um, a ra rail for your, for your TV. Now, it's really difficult to do this with one hand, but I'll try. This pulls out and obviously your flat screen TV lives on there. And it has got a digital TV aerial on the roof as well. So you can really nicely actually put that on there and you can watch that either in the living room or of course in the bed, which I'll show you in a second when the electric bed comes down. Um, this is the living area, uh, but first of all, let's have a look at the cab. So let's just move forwards. Automatic gearbox, as I mentioned, uh, does come with a stereo, um, but if you like to use your mobile phone, you can connect your mobile phone onto here or a tablet can connect onto there. Uh, it's got a multifunctional steering wheel and it's got concertina cab blinds. So it's got blinds going all the way around. So that really makes this area nice and private. Um, really comfortable seats. They are both captain seats, so they both swivel around. And yeah, just a nice place to be overall. Moving back from the cab, just above that area, just up here, we've got a skylight. That's also got a mosquito net and a blackout blind, and you can open that. And then moving back again, just so you can have a proper look at this, you've got this lovely table. Um, you've got opposing sort of sofas or bench seats uh, where lots of people can sit around eating dinner, relaxing and things like that. Now that table is electric, so it electronically comes down and I'll show you where the button is to that in a minute. But it's got a bit of a secret, this van, uh, which is very, very convenient. Now, underneath this seat and also underneath here, you have got pop up seats. So these seats pop up. And what happens then is you can use those as forward facing seats and they have got seat belts. So if you want to take four people with you. So sorry, if you want to travel with four people, then you can quite easily do that. Now, just above all of this we've got an electric drop down bed. So let me see if I can show you this working. Just to the left of the bed, we've got a little control panel here. Obviously you can see that up and down. And then if I just press this, let's have a look. So you press that and look at this. That comes down electronically. Now, this bed has got two positions. This is the first position and it does come with a little ladder that clips onto here so you can climb up and get into bed. Or you can electronically lower that table down and bring this bed all the way down. Now the joy of this van is you can have four berths. So you've got a double bed up on top and then this area will also convert into a double bed as well. So even if it's just for the two of you and you just occasionally want to take people with you, this bottom bed is perfect. And of course, the bed on the top, you can leave that made up with your quilt, your pillows and all that sort of stuff on there and then just squash that back up to the roof. So let's just press this button and pop that back up. If you think the table's a little bit too big and it's in the way, what you can do is you can actually fold this over. So that folds over out the way, which leaves this bar sticking out, which is obviously the support for the table. This support then slides in and then just to the right hand side, just here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little button here. Squeeze that in and you can move this table around. So this table can be moved in 360 degrees forwards, backs, left or right, which obviously gives you plenty of space in the living area. One thing to point out is that the lights in this vehicle are amazing. You can just imagine sat in here of an evening with all these lights on. Just to point out a few, you've got one here, reading lamp there, one there, lots above my head. So we've got four or four, actually six above my head, lighting all the way around, sort of LED strip lights. And then as you move forward, you go into the kitchen area. So just here, this is the kitchen area. So lots and lots of workspace. So if you like to do a bit of cooking, then this is ideal. And also they actually give you a little bit more here. So you can fold that up and there's well plenty there. I mean, that's probably, well, it's my kitchen's quite small at home, but that is at least as big as the kitchen space I've got to work with at home. Inside here, see if I can open these. We've got drawer space. 
just underneath here, more cupboard space, um, full size oven, grill, and then this you can lift up. Then underneath that, you've got three gas burners and an electric hot plate. Now, gas is good, obviously. You can use that anywhere. So if you're on the top of the mountain, you can still cook. But if you're on a, a campsite, then you can plug into their electricity, save your gas, and obviously use the electric hot plate there as well. Pop that down. In the kitchen, nice window for looking out of as you're cooking or doing the dishes and things like that. And of course, you've got blackout blinds and mosquito nets on these as well. Just above, cupboard space in here. So a lot of space in there, actually. And then just to the left, again, more cupboard space. Um, so plenty of storage space. Space? <laughs> Can't even talk. Plenty of storage space uh, and plenty of work surface. So great, great kitchen area. To the right hand side of the kitchen, as I showed you earlier, you've got this control panel, but I just thought I'd po point this out. This is the button that makes the table go up and down, which I was talking about earlier. Um, but just round to the side of that, you've got a huge fridge. So it's a really tall fridge, lots of storage in there. And also on the top there, you've got a fridge box as well. Um, this is a three way fridge. So this will work from gas, electric, or your leisure battery so you can use it all the time and then on the top you've got a bit of storage again moving back so at the rear of the vehicle this is what really kind of sells this vehicle to me is you've got a huge let me just open this up toilet and shower to the right hand side electric flush toilet sink with a little cabinet for keeping all your bits and bobs Again, we've got a window we can open up in here with fly screen and a mosquito net. And then just beneath that, you've got the toilet roll holder. And in here, we've got a cupboard for keeping all your bits and bobs. To the right hand side, let's see if we can swing this around for you. To the right, this is the shower. Now it's huge. It's a lovely size shower. Again, we've got a skylight in here so you can open that up and let the steam out. Really modern looking shower. And if you see there, we've got two plug points, two plug points, two um, drain holes. Now, the reason for that is if the van's not 100% um, level, then it will either the water will drain out one side or the other. At the back of the vehicle, what looks to be a small cupboard, this one here. Let's open it up and have a look, shall we? So let's open that up. There we go. In there, you've got the ladder, which is obviously to help you get up into the double bed if you have it on the higher position. But look at this. All your shoes, all your clothes all folded up nicely. And then on the top there, we've got a huge rail for hanging all your dresses or shirts and things like that. But that is a lovely space. Just beneath that wardrobe, you can see we've got this little access point here. Now you pull this open and voila, we're in the garage. So if you've got items in the garage that you need to get out, then you can quite conveniently just open this little hatch and pull them out. So if it's a rainy day or something like that, you can obviously just pop in there and, uh, and grab them out. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, if you've got any questions, do leave a comment below. Um, don't worry, I know I've probably missed something out on the video, uh, but do ask me the question and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, again, thank you so much to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me. We're over a thousand subscribers now and I believe over a hundred thousand views on my videos, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're interested in other models like this, then do have a look at the channel. We've got lots on there. Catalgos, Swifts, Baileys, Auto Sleepers. Uh, hillsides the list goes on and on and on with that um, and of course i'm going to be bringing new content to you all the time so do subscribe to the channel click the bell and you'll get notifications when i'm posting a new video uh, but thanks for watching take care and hopefully i'll see you guys soon